In the past it was generally thought that only men wanted to possess hand-crushing grip strength, a back of steel, and girl-like power. But thankfully times are changing, and thanks to the likes of Ronda Rossi and Camille Blanc Bazinet, we are now seeing a growing number of women that are breaking boundaries and records in strength athletics. This in turn is is having a carry over into mainstream fitness industry, and the fact is now that both men and women want to be stronger. Being strong has some amazing benefits and carry over into the real world, as well as sports performance, whether it's changing tires, moving furniture, lifting groceries or carrying our children. As a chartered physiotherapist I also believe that great strength bolsters your skeletal stability and as such decreases the risk of joint injury. Sounding good so far. The problem is that most gym users think that awesome power, such as deadlift eaten two to three times body weight is unattainable unless you have X-Men genetics or experiment with pets. But I'll let you into a little secret. With the right training program, the specific nutrition, and a commitment to regular training anyone can be a stronger version of themselves. This article will give you a small insight into getting stronger and get you on the road to some enviable strength gains. So let's begin with three top tips to get you started on your journey. 1. Perform the compound lifts. From Wendler to Westside, all the top S&C coaches will preach the same sermon. If you want to get strong then you have to deadlift, squat bench press, and overhead press. These movements recruit huge amounts of muscular contraction and neural activation and are the key ingredients in any strength athlete's program. In order to get the most from these movements, the athlete should perform 3 to 5 working sets of 1 to 5 reps with a load somewhere between 85 minus 110% of your 1 rep max. The rest periods between sets should be lengthy at around the 5 minute mark as the entire focus should be on moving the most amount of weight with good form as explosively as possible. 2. Eat for gains. In order to get stronger you must fuel your body for recovery and performance, so don't expect to get stronger and diet at the same time. Now this isn't an excuse to eat junk food all day long, but it does mean that you have to be accountable for your gains by eating the right foods frequently and on a consistent basis. Firstly work out your basal metabolic rate, your activity levels, and the macronutrients needed to gain muscle. Devise an eating plan with good healthy foods and stick to it for the duration of your training program. Remember nutrition is as important, if not more important than the training itself so don't neglect this furry sleep like a baby okay so you've pulled your heavy deadlifts and eaten your way through more beef than a texas cattle ranch so what now well this is my favorite ingredient in the strength recipe sleep that's right your body doesn't grow when you're training or eating it grows when you're resting and the best form of rest for muscle, tendon, ligament and nervous system regeneration is sleep. Try to get between 8 to 10 hours of quality sleep per day and throw in 40 minute power naps whenever you get the chance, especially after your post-training meal to optimize human growth hormone production. So what else is there then? Well I'm a big believer in the basics and athletes should spend a great deal of time focusing on the basic components of strength and percent conditioning and nutrition for optimal performance. We have learned that there are no shortcuts to success and no substitute for hard work. So suck it up, lift heavy, eat well and enjoy your new found strength.